Hello! In this demonstration, I'd like to show you how to apply a special mixture over a fabric doll to make it look more like a clay doll. It's a sophisticated kind of look. To do this, we're going to do hands. As you can see, these hands are made of fabric. They're flexible. And I want to make them look more like clay. So here are the ingredients that I need. Modeling paste. I use Liquitex, but you can also use Golden. And matte gel. Gel medium. As I mentioned, you can also use Golden, but we're going to stick with the Liquitex for now. And then the varnish that I use is Liquitex Matte, or it's, it's matte varnish. You can use high gloss if you like, but personally I don't like glossy varnish. And that's simply because when I photograph my dolls, I see the shine and it's hard to deal with in the pictures. But if you don't care about pictures and you want glossy, glassy, to look kind of more like porcelain maybe, then you can go ahead and use that. The other thing, of course, is acrylic paint. This is my skin-colored acrylic paint. You can use any kind of acrylic paint you like. Um, the other thing that I typically like to use are pastels. I use white pastel, and I also use a skin-colored pastel or two. Now, these are Neo Pastels, they're oil pastel. You can use artist crayons or anything like that. It really does not matter. This is just what I have on hand. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, obviously, one other thing that you need is a jar or something to put the mixture in, and you'll need a brush. Depending on the size that you're using, the size uh, that you're painting, you can use a smaller brush or a larger brush. For the hands, um, either one is fine. Now, you're going to want to take one to one, a one to one ratio of each product. So I'm going to go ahead and spoon out one nice heaping spoon of the matte gel into the jar and then I'm gonna go ahead and let me just get a different spoon I'm gonna go ahead and take a spoon of the modeling paste mix them up Okay, I think I might have a little more modeling paste, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put, mix them in there, best I can. Mix, mix, mix. And there we go. Just go ahead and start coating the hands. You want to do this nice and even. This particular fabric that I'm using is called Deer Suede. And you'll notice that it's kind of fuzzy on the outside. It's just the fabric that I'm using. You can do this with cotton fabric, velour, whatever fabric you have it will work now I'm putting it on nice and thick because of the fact that it's a little fuzzy wuzzy but I'm not going to put it on too thickly because if I do that it might get uneven okay now you could see what I'm doing self-explanatory very quickly just go ahead give it a good coat 
once it's dry you'll take some sandpaper in my case I like to use a sanding block like this it's like a sponge it has the foam inside I would just take it sand it nicely so it's not rough and then I'll go ahead and coat it with the paint and when the paint is dry I'll coat it with my varnish and that's it that is how you make a nice coating on your fabric doll now the reason that you want to use the modeling paste and the gel mat the science behind it is that these two products together when they dry they still allow the hand or whatever the part the body part to be flexible and when you apply the paint onto that the paint will not flake off and it won't crack over time that's the benefit of using this mixture so I hope that you enjoy this video I hope you'll give it a try and in my next video I will show you what it looks like when it's done in the meantime we're drawing and we're saying goodbye for now take care thanks and have a delightful day